Wednesday Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Literacy Lesson. Fantastic work yesterday on your inference questions. Some of those questions were really tricky, especially the do you think ones, and you did a brilliant job answering them and putting the evidence in. So well done, really proud of you. So today then is our final questions on Blackbeard and it's pages 40 and 41. And we're going to be looking at summary and structure questions. There are some word meaning questions there first, but I don't want to go over word meaning again because the strategies are the same and you're doing really, really well with them. So I'm not going to go over word meaning again. We're going to focus on the structure one and the summary today. But before we do that, I want you to do something to get your brains going and get them warmed up. And this will help you with the skills that you need to answer these questions today. Now, I want you to think about skimming and scanning. Now, skimming and scanning is a, a strategy that we use when we're doing comprehension questions and it's a way to find the part of the text that you are looking at using keywords. So what I've done is set you a little bit of a challenge and I'll do the first one with you to show you. I want you to think about finding parts of the text. So I've given you some keywords to find and I want you to time yourself how quickly you can find them. So you might want to use your phone as a timer, you might want to find an online timer on Google, just have a little go at how quickly you can find them. So I'm going to find Queen Anne's Revenge as my first word. I've got my stopwatch on my phone and let's see how quickly I can find it. So Queen Anne's Revenge is what I'm looking for. So I've got my text. Okay, so I'm looking for Queen Anne's Revenge. I've got my timer. So I'll put it under here. I'm going to start it now. I'm looking through here and using my finger to have a quick look. I'm looking for, oh, there it is. I'm going to stop. It took me nine seconds to find Queen Anne's Revenge. Okay, it took me nine, well, not far off, 10 seconds. So I want you to pause the video on these keywords. I want you to pause the video on these keywords and see how quickly you can find them. Skimming and scanning is a real skill and it's to practice really looking for those keywords. So pause the video now. I'll step to the side. Pause the video now. See if you can find these keywords in the text. Okay, so you should have had a really good warm up, warmed your brain up now trying to find those words in the text. And we're going to go over structure questions and summary questions. Now, you've seen a question like this one before. Ordering one. Okay, it's, you've got to find the order that they appear in the text. Now, it's really tempting to think, oh, I know that, that one came first, and that one came first, and then that one. I wouldn't be able to do that. I always go through the text, and it's really important that you do that too. Don't guess, go back through the text and find them. So instead of going through those ones, I've just put three events to show you how I would do this. So what I do is I, find, I find, read the sentence of joining Benjamin Hornigold's crew. So I know I'm looking for Benjamin Hornigold. That's my skimming and scamming, scanning. So I'm going to look for that in the text. When I find it, I'm going to put a little star. And they're going to put something to remind me what that star is for. So I will show you. So I'm looking for Benjamin Hornigold. So go back to the text. So really oh, I've spotted it already. So there it is. I'm going to put a little star and I'm going to put an arrow and I'm going to put that. So that little note there is to just remind me what that star is for, okay? So then I'll find the next one. So the next one is sailing around the coast of America and the Caribbean. So I'm going to be looking for coast of America and Caribbean as my key words. Oh, I've spotted Caribbean already. Coast of America, I'm going to put a star there. I'm going to put America to remind me. Okay, so they're the first two. The next one there, the last one is introducing Blackbeard and who he was. So that's not really a key word well, apart from Blackbeard probably, but it's introducing him. So I know that's going to be somewhere near the beginning. So I'm going to go back to the first paragraph.
paragraph and see if that does that job of introducing him and who he was. Yeah, so it's saying what his real name is. So I'm going to have that as introducing. Right, so now I've found those three ones, those three events. So introducing him, a bit about Benjamin Hornigold and America and the Caribbean. Then I can number them. So I can number them straight away so I know the order that they came in. That one was number one. That one was number two. And that one was number three. Now, only then am I going to go back to the question. So I know that the introducing one was number one. Then back to my notes to help me. Number two was Benjamin Hornigold. And number three was sailing around the Caribbean. Okay, so please, please, on that ordering question, Use this strategy. Find all the events first, put some notes to remind yourself, then number them, then go back to the question to number it on the question. Okay, because it's too easy to get confused on those. You can't guess. So that's your ordering one. We have been through that before, but I just wanted to remind you because there was a couple of mistakes. Please use that strategy. So the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is summary. Summary is a really tricky thing to get your head around. So I'm going to go through a couple of things. Now, the question you've got asks you to summarise the whole text. What I'm going to do is to show you how to summarise a paragraph and then you'll apply that to what you're doing today. So, I've got a paragraph here that I've taken from the text and it's the one that begins, although many, pi many of the pirates who once roamed the seas. Now I'm going to read through that text and then I'm going to imagine that I'm giving that paragraph a title so that the person that read it, reads it knows exactly what that paragraph's going to be about. But I need to read through it first, really carefully. So although many of the pirates who once were in the seas were undoubtedly fearsome, so it's talking about pirates, the most terrible of all was Captain Blackbeard, whose life had be has become a pirate legend. Blackbeard's name may make him sound like a fictional character, but he is thought to have been an actual person whose real name was Edward Teach. Teach is believed to have been, have been born in 1680 in Bristol, England. As a young man, he, he joined the British Navy as a privateer, a sailor who has his own armed ship and attacked enemy vessels for his country. Now, all of that there is about Blackbeard, isn't it? And it's introducing Blackbeard. So if I was going to give that that paragraph a title, a summary title, or a summary sentence, I would say Blackbeard and, and his early life, because it talks about when he was a young man, he joined the British Navy as a privateer, okay? So that's young, this bit's about Blackbeard, and about his early life. So I'm going to give that this thought. How I would summarise that is Blackbeard and his early life. That's a very brief, it doesn't give all of the details about what that paragraph's about, but it's a summary. It just says very briefly what that paragraph is about. So if I had to say to somebody, oh, that paragraph's about Blackbeard and what he did in his early life. So what I want to do now is I've given you another paragraph. So this one's the next one, the next second paragraph in the text. So however, after fighting for Britain, I want you to now have a read of that, pause the video and write down a sentence that you, if you, if I said to you, right, what's that paragraph about? And you're only allowed to tell me in one sentence, write down what you would tell me, just one sentence about that paragraph. Okay, so it's the second paragraph beginning, however, after fighting for Britain. So pause the video, read it, write down in your purple book, a sentence that you would say that paragraph was about. Right, okay, so you should have had a go of that now. So I'm going to have a little read of it. So he fought for Britain for a few years, he turned to piracy, he joined the crew of pirate Benjamin, Benjamin Hornigold, he captured a ship, 
he named the ship um, and then he started to attack merchant ships so there's lots and lots about Blackbeard again but this is more about him becoming a pirate so I'm going to say Blackbeard starting out as a pirate squeeze it on there okay so that would be my summary sentence about what that paragraph is about it's about blackbeard starting out as a pirate was it any was it similar to one of yours looking forward to see okay so that's your summary then the question in the book then you've actually got four options which one you think summarizes the whole text. So you've got to think which one of those, if I said to you, what's the text about? Which one of these would you pick? Okay. Right, so finally then, I want to go through the structure question. So structure means how a text is put together. Okay, so how a writer has chosen to structure, put together their text. So I want to go over this question specifically because it's quite tricky. So the question you've got then, how does the last paragraph of the text link back to the first paragraph? So you'll see that I've highlighted some key parts. So I've highlighted last paragraph and first paragraph because they're the parts I need to look at. And I've highlighted link back. So link back means how do they link together? How do they go together? How is the writer connected so link means connected those two paragraphs so it's really important that the first step is to read through the first and the last paragraph okay to see where the links might be now it might not be that they talk about exactly the same thing it might be that they talk about similar themes similar ideas so really important look at the first paragraph really carefully what does that talk about look at the last paragraph really carefully what does that talk about and then see if you can find a link between the two what brings them together okay so if i go back to the text so the first paragraph then talks about black beers talks about how things that people think about him things that people know about him so lots of things are things that they think about him. So it's believed that this is when he was born. Um, it's thought that he was an actual person. And then if I go to the last paragraph, last paragraph yeah. so this one isn't talking so much about Blackbeard, but talking about the treasure, the rumours. So remember, rumours are something that people say, but you don't know whether they're true or not of Blackbird's final hidden treasure have little basis in fact. So there's no real fact, it's just something people say. Of the fan, of the nothing to, nonetheless, any further artefacts brought to the surface may well reveal new information. So in the first paragraph, they talk about Blackbeard and the legend and that people think and people believe. In the last paragraph, they're talking about his treasures and whether that's the truth. So have a little think about that and see if you can put how those two things link together that's a challenge question so just do your very very best but think there's a similar theme to those two paragraphs and have a go at it so i hope you've enjoyed the blackbeard text i know i did i didn't really know that much about him before that text and i found it really interesting and then today is our very last day on word power some of you be pleased some of you might have really enjoyed the little tasks i know i've really enjoyed them and learnt lots of new things so the final then the final piece of work we're going to do is powerful puzzlers and it's page 32 that we're going to have a look at today so this one's just a bit of fun a bit of a challenge um a bit like i say a fun challenge because i know the work that you've done in your comprehension has been quite tricky today So you've got here something that are called spoonerisms. So these happen when the first letters of words are, end up mixed up. 
So like in the example, if you look at the example in your book, it says keep your pies eeled. Okay, so they've mixed up there, so it should be keep your eyes peeled. So the P has gone on to the eyes, and then the E has gone on to the eeled. So you'll have done that yourself sometimes, how you mix your words up. I know I do it all the time. So you've got to, on the next bit, try and figure out the, what these spoonerisms mean. So the first one, you've got an example. So you have hissed all my mystery lessons. Should be, you have missed all my history lessons. So on these, you've got two more examples, and there's a little picture clue to go with it. So there'll be one, two letters that have been mixed up. So have a go at those. And then the last bit, you would might be a little bit of a, a little bit of fun, is making up your own for the for these ones. So the first one gives you an example. So it says, I hit my funny bone. And the F and the B have got mixed up. I hit my bunny phone to make that. So have a go just about swapping round two letters to make something a little bit funny. And then it, if you can. Have a go at thinking up of your thinking up your own little spoonerisms for me to have a go at. And if you send them in, I'll try and work out which letters have got mixed up. So again, well done for all your hard work. Can't wait until we can all just be back together doing it in the classroom. But you're doing an amazing job at home. Some really fantastic attitudes to learning. Looking forward to seeing your work today and keep it up.